So if you're renovating your house or you're a tradesperson, like an electrician, a painter, a plumber, a carpenter, you may get some aches and strains in your back and neck from either bending down or looking up and extending yourself. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips that you can do to prevent injuries while you're renovating your own home or if you're a tradesperson, if you do this for, for a living. Hey there, I'm Dr. Walter Slubro. I'm actually a chiropractor in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. I am not a painter, but I did grow up in renovations. My dad's a carpenter by trade and he's done a lot of construction work, uh, contractor, retired now. So I essentially grew up in the renovations and trades industry and I've seen it all. At the same time, I've seen injuries, um, not just in my dad, but also in tradespeople in my office and people that renovate their home. And today I'm actually helping my sister and her brother-in-law do some painting in their house. And I thought about this, I go, I'm looking up a lot and we're bending down a lot. Even my sister complained about her back by bending down, doing the cleaning on the floor. So why not make a video about how to protect your back and neck when you're either renovating your home or if you do this for a living. So I'll give you some tips and exercises you can do to actually relieve some of the tension and actually prevent any injury in the process of doing your renovation or your work. So I know that if you're a subscriber of mine, it's kind of a different uh, look for me, for Dr. Walter, but I thought it'd still be a good idea to shoot a video like this. Um, and if you're looking for other videos like uh, how to relieve back pain, neck pain, uh, disc injuries, uh, exercises, just check all my videos on my channel below because I have all of them in my channel. Okay, so let's say that you're working in your home or on your job site and you've been bending down a lot, doing something on the floor or on the wall or something. So that flex position is going to cause strain in your back, even in your knees if you're on the floor doing a lot of work. So the overarching strategy I want to give you is you want to do the opposite of the position that you've been stuck in for a little while and working. So if you're bent forward and flex or bending down and working every now and then every half an hour or an hour, if you can remember, just do some extension. So do the opposite, okay? Just like that. So if you've been flexing forward, extend your back. Hold it for a few seconds and release and repeat that several times. That'd be very useful. Of course, you don't do anything that actually causes more pain, so always do it within your tolerance, okay? Now, I was looking up and painting earlier, so let's grab my, my uh, pole. So I was looking up and painting like that, so my neck was straining like this. So now I was extending, right? So now I'm gonna just do some flexion mobility exercises just to reverse that extra extension, okay? If you feel tightness in the shoulders, you can grab that tool you're working with or that bar you're working with and just do some rotations, just like that. Get some loosening into that thoracic spine, side to side bending. Actually feels really good. If you have a broomstick at home, you can do this also. Good. So if you've been looking down a lot, then you can extend upwards. If you've been looking up a lot, just roll your neck downwards and do some relieving stretches like that. And just a couple more tips you can do if you want to relieve strain in your neck. Some very light lateral bending like that. 10 seconds, you hold and repeat three times. And then the opposite side, All right. some lateral bending. Very useful. And I already mentioned this, don't forget that nice lumbar extension, the standing position. If you enjoyed that video, do comment below. Let me know which tip you like the most and which one you found more useful. And then if you want to see more exercises for mobility that you should do every day, regardless of what you're doing in your life, I have seven great exercises you can do every day. Go over here to check that out right now to watch those exercise mobility daily exercises you can do every day right here.